Welcome back to Shutter Magazine. My article this month is all about diversity. Now, this is the senior issue, and that's as good a place to start as any. Think about your senior subject. Odds are it's the first time they've ever had an experience with a professional photographer. Now, if you build that relationship and establish some trust and even a small friendship with them at this point, they may be back to you later on when, that, when, that, when they become a bride and groom and as their family grows. So it's a good starting point. Now an even better starting point and easier to understand the logic is if you're a wedding photographer. Now a wedding photographer who does a great job at the wedding, why wouldn't you want to be there when the first baby's born? And as that child grows, why wouldn't you want to be there as the family dynamics change? And what I'm thinking about is a complete cycle. So if we start at weddings, couple gets married, they loved working with you, you did a great job, there's trust established, there's a relationship. We already know statistically, that's a tough one to say, two to four years later, odds are they're going to start a family. Now that family gets started and babies come along, there's an opportunity for newborn photography, the babies grow, there's an opportunity for children's photography, then there's an opportunity for family photography. Now during that whole cycle, Mom and dad are getting more established. Maybe they've got a business of their own. Maybe dad or mom is climbing up the corporate ladder and has a need for a better headshot. And all along the way, there are these benchmarks where imaging support is needed. Maybe it's a slideshow. Maybe it's, maybe it's a new portraits of the family. Maybe it's a business portrait. Maybe it's product shots, a more commercial line. So what I'm suggesting, and not everybody agrees with me on this, everybody will always tell you you need to specialize in one thing. I'm suggesting you specialize in one thing, but have a bunch of branches that are logical connections, and the logical connection is all under the umbrella of family. If you've got that, then you've got the ability to keep building that relationship with the family and keep providing them with photographic needs through the whole cycle. So in the same way, a lot of people will stay with the same family doctor for a couple of generations, depending on assuming the doctor is young enough when you first met that doctor. I'm suggesting that a photographer do pretty much the same thing and work with your clients, build those relationships, and just keep building that trust within the family group. And at the same time, you've got an opportunity for more and more photographic needs throughout the cycle. And that's it for this month on Shutter Magazine. Thanks for following me, and we'll see you next month with a new topic.